I'm so scared, y'all. I don't want to get oofed in WW3. All the while, we have the battle zone versus where this person is tweeting at. Literally, this was so many Americans on that website last week. I'm just going to blame it on the fact that most of our population probably can't even point to Ukraine on a map. Did you know that due to London's large size and congestion, it takes 180 hours to drive from Heathrow Airport to East London? If only it wasn't such a mess, it'd be so much easier to get from East London, South Africa, all the way to the British Isles. Dare I say if they had a more efficient system in this airport, we might be able to get there in 179 hours. Western media when a tragedy hits. In the green, we have the places that get 24-hour coverage, celebrity songs, flag filters, and lit up monuments. In the brown, they respond with, it's a hopeless situation, let's pray. In the yellow countries, if some sort of tragedy is hit, Western media will usually say something like, well, we can't just be sad all day long, let's move on. And then finally, anywhere here, south of the Sahara Desert, they just literally do not care. It's been interesting to define more of these lines a bit more exact now, at least in Eastern Europe. Oh yes, and according to the media, the island of of Tasmania off of Australia literally doesn't exist and have a tragedy take place if the media doesn't even recognize you. Believe it or not, the counties in red have the exact same population as the counties in blue. I'm always so fascinated by this stuff. It's crazy. It almost feels like none of this stuff is actually true, but nobody ever actually double checks to see if it is true. But no, 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 that obviously cannot be it. I asked my hostage to name every European country. Please don't tell the FBI. In the light gray, we have all the countries, the small eight-year-old tied to the radiator didn't know because he responded with hmm. In the dark gray, we also have hmm, but in a snarling tone. In the blue, we have help, help, the tape has fallen off. And then all the countries that are in white is silence. I think he's just given up. If you're not going to teach the random kid that you've abducted and trapped in your basement geography, then what are you really doing with your life? If I wasn't on an FBI list before, I definitely am now. Coincidence? I think not. The leader of France, Macron, perfectly lines up with his country here and its borders. The entire world just better hope he doesn't break his nose and lose this little arch in it. He might be forced to invade Switzerland to keep this accurate. Study the picture given below and answer the questions that follow. Why Germany and France fought? What the hell is this? Ah uh, yes, no Denmark, a thick Italy, there's no Mediterranean Sea, Switzerland's down here. I'm going to assume Germany and France fought because clearly they've been banished to some sort of evil shadow realm in which the Baltic Sea is also controlled by the Germans and Scotland is in an island by itself. I'd fight the French too in this situation. A perfect globe basketball. Thank you for showing off the true region of Oceania. I've always known that small strip of habitable land that Australia has wasn't actually real and everyone knew the Shire and Middle Earth was basically fake as well. Fun fact, the Eurasian Peninsula has an area over 30 miles. Hmm. And thank you for including some of this other information, just coloring one part of Denmark blue, removing England, and removing a lot of Africa. No New Zealand, because as we saw, basketball doesn't believe in that either. Vietnam instead of Japan. Now they're finally showing their true colors. I refuse to believe there's something called continents. I think they're actually just giant islands, but no one wants to admit it. World map, but every country is an island. Wow. Or like I said earlier, it's almost like every country is on one big island, so it doesn't really matter. The world would probably be a better place if we did this. Someone did a Google Trends Ukraine versus Elder Ring. Brazil, what the Baba f*** are you guys doing? Really, Brazil? Really? Maybe people will actually start wanting to be banished to Brazil now. We'll not have to face the realities of the cold, dark world. I'm gonna be kind of excited now when people say, you are going to Brazil. Did you guys know Pakistan and Germany are only about 40,000 kilometers away? You can't go in a perfectly straight line though because of uh, geographical regions and lakes and water and things like that. But wow, is this impressive. It just screams help for any poor soul that would actually have to travel all the way from Pakistan to Germany. Europe but I've actually unlocked all landlocked countries. Could you imagine the price this man paid to unlock all these DLCs? Gotta completely remove Femboy Slovenia, as well as a large portion of Albania and others. And just like in our real world, East Germany now has to live on in our hearts, or underneath this massive Baltic Sea we now have. France is also gonna have to get cut off as well. Uh, I think you forgot something there, buddy. Seems like you might have forgot one of the most powerful nations in the entire continent. Guess where I'm from, based off one map alone. Hmm, it's kind of 
of hard to tell when you first of all paint all the colors of the countries the same like just visually it'd be a little bit easier to kind of figure out what's going on in the map but regardless I think I can figure it out I've been able to figure out a lot of these usually in the past this one's really stumping me though did you know you can fit three Chinas inside of Russia I know we always talk about how large the surface area of this country is but this really kind of puts it into a whole new perspective dare I say you could fit a lot more than just three Chinas inside of Russia, maybe like 80? It's almost like China here is just kind of an island. How crazy would that be? Countries which have supplied Ukraine with military equipment in 2022. Hmm, okay, so unsurprisingly, we have all of NATO, Australia, Japan, South Korea, Turkey. The one who's actually done the most though is Russia. Russia has really helped out a lot in the whole invasion of Ukraine. It's so nice to them to actually like kind of share their equipment while this country is being invaded. They're just really trying to keep them alive, I guess. Searched up simple maps on Google and found this monstrosity. Where do we even begin? South America actually includes a lot of Central America, as you can see. Greenland doesn't exist. Iceland is a part of South America, by the way. There is no Red Sea, and the Arabian Peninsula is included in Africa. Very interesting distinction between Europe. Um, also, the Russian Federation is big enough to be its own continent, that's right. Also, Oceania doesn't exist. It's just Australia and New Zealand. Talk about based maps. Let's go. Oh, man, I love these types of maps. Here are all the most popular boy names in the country of Italy in 2020. So in the northern part of these lands, you have a lot of popular names like Fettuccini, Ravioli, and Pepe. In the middle of the country, you have a little bit more traditional names like Penne and Spaghetti. Don't forget Pizza. This is like the John Smith of names in the Italian world. Tortellini is what I'm going to name my son, though. Gotta love Rigatoni out here in Sardinia. You really see how it just rolls off the tongue if you ever have to yell that. God Damn it, Rigatoni. If I name my son this, will you let me be part of Austria? Yeah. And then King Albert, 12th of his name, King of Sicily, and all of Italy all around. Cool dude, yes. I don't really like this name compared to some of the others, but it, it'll do. Map of China, but it's finally been returned to its rightful owners. The great state of Oregon has always had a very legitimate claim to all these lands. It's about time someone starts to recognize that. Ah, uh, yes, the Nono Cuddle Kingdoms of the UK. Wessex, Sussex, Middle Essex, and... Wait, wait, Middle Essex? Is that how you pronounce that? This is Essex. I know quite often a lot of people push for Staniland, a country in which all the Stan countries unite. But I think we really got to change focus and start putting more attention on this. Don't give in to the Virgin Island propaganda that this shouldn't actually be a legitimate place. My suggestions to the USA on what targets they should nuke if they intervene with Russia and Ukraine. Now, this guy's thinking a little bit outside the box here, but I think there is a lot of useful information. I mean, a very strong military tactic sometimes is shock and awe, and you cannot tell me this would not shock and awe the entire world. Ah uh, yes, the country of Loss. Sometimes often spelled L-O-A-S. What a beautiful story right here. Taking screenshots of Google Maps before the update hits. It'll never be the same again. We're literally going to be able to sell these as NFTs one day. Now that's something I think I can get behind selling. Everyone's making fun of this restaurant for putting this whatever world map on. You know, it really sucks because I think 10 years ago, nobody would care. But it feels like every year that goes by, more and more of us geography nerds are just going to meme it. No New Zealand, no Japan. A lot of islands aren't here. I mean, that's the problem. There's no Atlantic Ocean, which is actually how I build a lot of my thumbnails, believe it or not. Everyone makes fun of me for that, but it's easier to crush it down. I know why you did it. My goal is to one day have everyone make fun of this restaurant's map. We got to educate the world on this. I mean, just look, this rust on this old ass pipe looks better than that thing in the restaurant. Yeah, they still forgot New Zealand, but at least Japan is there and quite possibly a few more islands. It's hard to tell. It's all rusty. Map of NATO countries, but it's actually just the islands in the North Atlantic. Crazy how you just include islands in the North Atlantic, and this is quite possibly one of the most disgusting maps I've ever seen. That's the problem. Like, islands are just ugly. That's probably why a lot of artistic depictions of the world map doesn't really include them. Look how disgusting this is. Who wants to live on the earth with a bunch of these things? I love how if you just remove the UK, the total population in this area is probably like five. I'm just gonna go out here and say I will never buy any meat with this on it. I just ain't gonna do it. I don't care how big of a geography nerd I am. I don't even know if this is meat. Is this a cake? Is this a bread? I don't know, but I don't wanna put it in my mouth. I'd rather put that eyeball in my mouth than whatever the hell this is. USDA had no choice. That's BS. Finally, someone has truly recognized chili. I had a TikTok go kind of viral of me saying chili 
a lot, like several times. I thought you could say chili or chile. I prefer chili. That reminds me of this meme that got posted to my subreddit. Drew pronouncing every other Latin American countries versus Drew pronouncing it. Nicaragua. I didn't even get to pronounce it that well right there. The problem is I actually did not know how to pronounce Nicaragua for a very long time. You can go back to look at videos from like a year or two ago. I refuse to pronounce it. I think I called it the N-word country. <laughs> And one day I was just fed up with it, so I wanted to figure out the actual pronunciation. I honestly can't even do the American pronunciation of this country. I don't know how you would do it. I literally only know it as Nicaragua. Gear up, I guess, according to whatever. We have Europe with uh, Sweden, Finland. Sweden owns Norway. This is an old version, I guess. Denmark barely exists. Also, uh, London, the British, I don't... What? What even is this? Again, a lot of this stuff was made at least 10 years ago, sometimes 30 years ago. They just trusted on the fact that we didn't know anything about geography. They could just kind of wing it and no one would care. That's why there's like literally unlimited meme material out there in geography. Map of Europe one week from now, but I've labeled it with flags to show you what's going on. Clearly, I think Ukraine is okay. They've also taken over all of Russia, or could that perhaps be... Sweden taking over everybody, I'm not sure. Kind of hard to tell, they kind of use the same blue and yellow, that's it. Are those tones actually the same, do we know? You know, flags define like what type of color, usually pretty distinctly, sometimes not. Even though this image is literally 144p quality, it looks like it's the same exact colors. Like tone of colors is what I mean, saturation, things like that. Yeah, somewhere in a week from now, we will have Spain annex all of Poland, yes. And then Germany will take Kaliningrad. I think I can believe all this stuff. What is this? Is this Yugoslavia? returning but in the Crimean Peninsula oh no that's just an independent Crimea I just learned like a couple days ago that the Crimean flag is basically Yugoslavia oh wait maybe it's actually not it's just really long I didn't realize the white is so big most people don't actually know this but if you drag Malta to the northern part of Europe it's actually massive and it's like crazy how often in videos I literally don't even mention this place these little islands down here in the Mediterranean in which you can't even see take up almost the entire continent of Europe once you pull it to the north. Man, these flat maps really gotta stop. Once again, a totally normal map of the United States of America. If for some reason we just woke up one day and the Indian subcontinent was attached to where Texas used to be, no one would notice. You've heard of Tex-Mex, now get ready for it. Tex... Indian. I just thought I'd magically be able to come up with something funnier there, but I guess not. Louisiana is basically Bangladesh. I mean, they're both pretty significantly below sea level, sadly. You versus the guy she told you not to worry about. This makes me want them to like offer some sort of college course on drawing maps. I have no idea what type of real world advantage that would give you. But then again, there's plenty of degrees that don't necessarily give you real world advantages. <laughs> I wonder if you decide to become a geography major, if you ever have to draw. You might have to, actually. That'd be a good final exam. Like you better know every aspect. They just give you a blank piece of paper and they have you draw everything. That's what you must do to get your master's degree or your doctorates in geography. Can you do that? Yeah, you can get a PhD in the Department of Geography, at least at Washington.edu. I'm just thinking one of you guys out there watching this video will probably get this one day, and it might all stem from these dumb videos I make. Map of Europe, but there are way too many Belaruses. This is too many Belaruses. This is one too many, dare I say. You would have been okay with one Belarus, but as soon as you include another one, it's just too many. If Belarus was covering the entire continent of Europe, I guess Russia would be able to just bring their forces in throughout the entire continent. Map of the USA, if the government just stops lying to us. California isn't actually real. That is obviously the case. Who'd make such a terrible place to begin with? And of course those weird Idaho borders aren't actually real. It's gotta be a rectangle like everything else over here. Same with Montana as it's merged with the inexistent Wyoming. Inexistent? Don't think that's a word, but whatever. There is no Georgia. There's just Long Alabama. I was actually born in Atlanta, but that's why my birth certificate still says Alabamian. Who would possibly be dumb enough to have Michigan split up into two peninsulas? Obviously, if the government wasn't lying to us, this would be a thick Wyoming. No one would ever willingly do that border gore. Michigan doesn't even sound real. That's why it's just Indiana and Ohio. Oh boy. All the people slandering Ohio are going to be very upset right now. This video is probably going to get it taken down because I don't think the FBI is willing to give you guys this information. If I don't upload anymore, you'll know why. For those wondering where old Mexico is, it's actually right here. Believe it or not, it was right under your nose the entire time. Just like New Zealand, it's long been a massive mystery where the old Zealand is, just like where the old Mexico is. But finally, we're getting answers. 
This has plagued the earth for thousands of years, but finally I think we can come to a reasonable conclusion. This is more than likely old Mexico. This is the original Mexico. I don't think it's 100% confirmed just yet, but six out of 10 scientists in the community are agreeing on it. Which route should I take from Islamabad to Berlin? I really don't like tolls, so maybe I should just take the long way. Hmm, three days and 12 hours or three days and 18 hours. But you gotta think about the sightseeing. The longer way would probably be a bit more visually interesting. Side note, but is there a ferry system that Turkey has taking cars from this side to this side? I'm assuming there probably is, especially because Turkey owns this land. I literally googled how to get your car from one side of Turkey to the other, and this is all of the results in the images tab. Thank you for that, Google. Why is it actually so hard to find the answers to this? I am actually curious. Can you get your car from this side to this side? Is there a bridge? I don't think there's a bridge. That's way too big. This is definitely not the video for me to be asking legitimate questions like this when I have like shit posts and things going on. Oh wait, maybe there is a bridge. Okay, never mind. The Netherlands, but I removed Holland, so it is now just Netters, which isn't a bad name. I kind of like it. A bit more inviting, something about it, just Netters. Sounds cool to me. I can see like a third of the population just riding their bike all the time. Leaked map from Putin trying to invade Ukraine. Now this seems like an interesting strategy from him here, Cotton. Maybe there's some sort of portal that'll get him to Kiev. Oh yeah, right here. Now that makes a lot of sense. Somebody show this to the UN. We gotta stop him. Map of Austria, but I've surrounded it by Austrias. Also, map of Austria if it was actually a prison colony used by the British. Will the real size of country's website ever stop being so memeable? This has just completely changed the whole geography game. And big thanks to my Patreon supporters. Young waifu. Fat nuts. Jer Boy. Why am I doing this? Sussy Melody. Rye the Pie. Nora the Bald Free Smiley Philip Lover. Philip R.F. Orton 5610. Drews Whitley is Mega Chad. Alfonso M6. Fat Norwal. Norwal. After Hours. Barn Bring CW. Back Canadian Ball. Union. I Stole Drews Pet Dogs. Luxembourg Majestic Lover. Unicorn. Max Cooper. Mick Blorf. And Mimo Shiki.